the Eagles defense went above and beyond expectations, okay? What are the expectations of a defense, right? I look at it like this. Your defense, your job is to go out there and make and stop the offense from having a first down. If you prevent the offense from having a first down, they have to punt the ball, all right? Not every team gonna get interceptions and sacks, but a lot of majority of teams can make sure that the offense punts. They went above the expectations with this defensive series, right? And I'll show you guys this in a little bit. And then they went beyond the expectation based off the based off the situation. All right, watch the play real quick. So we don't have uh, first and 10, Matt Stafford, we get a running play and look at Nicole Dean. <laughs> okay, let me just, <laughs> wow. All right, above and beyond expectations, okay? Let me show y'all the uh, down and distance. Second quarter, 6, 17 on the clock. First and 10, and the Rams are on their own 30 yard line, all right? The score, mind you, is six to seven. So what I like to do is I like to break the field in half, and that helps me kind of see what the defense should be doing, all right? So let's see, defense has it right here. Let's look at the offensive personnel yet first. All right, so the ball's on this hash. This is gonna be the boundary. The opposite is going to be the field, right? That's how I split it up. Once I split up the field, actually, let me get a little smaller. Once I split up the field, right, I turn into middle linebacker mode and I say, okay, now let's look at what we have matchup wise. So there's one receiver over here. We have one corner over here, all right? We have a tight end over here. Guess what? My Sam linebacker is over there. I'm the middle linebacker, right? My job as a middle linebacker is to keep an eye on the middle. Right? I got the quarterback and the running back. And then I got one guy deep. So we got one guy covering this half of the field, one guy covering that guy, this guy covering this guy. On the boundary side, on the field side, what we got? We got a slot corner, we got a corner, and we got one deep. Cool. Defensively, we get as a middle linebacker. I'm keeping my eyes on this. This is an outstanding play. So the ball gonna get, right? And this, it, he has to keep an eye on this. If Stafford hands it off, he has to play that. If Stafford keeps it, he's gotta back off of that, or he has to play this. We don't know what this running back's doing, but he plays it, and then he just shoots the gap. <laughs> to make a play like that? <laughs> well, I was like, yo. This dude is different, man. That's above and beyond the expectations. You, you, like, at least, I'm, I'm not expecting the middle linebacker to get that, bro. Look at the end zone view. Okay, watch, he's right here. He's playing the middle linebacker. It's easy, keep it easy. Don't make football so damn difficult, bro. Make it easy. This is the middle, this is where the ball is. This is the middle of the field, right? And then we just based off, we, we, we already determined what one side has more field and what side has less field. The middle's right here. I'm the middle linebacker. I'm playing the middle. So to get through this with a four-man pass rush, right, he has to be, I mean, look at what he's seeing here. And for him to just shoot this gap <laughs> and close the speed, that is incredible linebacker play, bro. Incredible. Real quick, before I break down this defensive series, because look, it's gonna be a second and 10. It's gonna be a third and nine, a fourth and 18. We get a punt. And remember, expectations, bro. If we make the offense punt, we good, right? I need you guys to pit take, don't lie in the comment section below. That lets me know you guys like this and also get the video up to 500 likes. If that happens, man, then I'll continue making this content because it helps me because I'm trying to be an NFL scout. The link to that video will be in the comment section below, all right? But I got to see this. So now it's second and 10, and they get a one-yard gain from uh, Williams. Let's run it. Let's see. Second and 10. Damn, they made, damn, the Rams run it and don't pick up. They pick up one yard? Oof. Dude. Above expected. Now it's, now it's. It's third and nine. This is one hell of a defensive series, right? Like, let's look at this. We have four on the line. One, two, three, four, right? We got two high or uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, I'll say two high. 
and our linebackers. So we have the, our middle linebacker right here. Okay, we have our um, Will linebacker and we have our Sam linebacker. Now actually, no, the Sam's right here. Yeah, this is Hunt. So we're actually, all right, we're in the same look. So who is this then? I gotta see who this guy is. 53, nah, or 30, actually, yeah, 53. Okay, so this, like I said, I'm, learn, I'm learning the whole, look, 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 I'm, I'm trying to show y'all. My content's unscripted, bro. I try to get it to y'all the best way I can, which is natural because that's how I learn best like that. So look, we have linebackers, one, two, three. The Kobe Dean's out there, Hunt is out there, and then Zach is out there. But as you see, Hunt is on the line right here. That's 58. Now that that's cleared up, we can now look at the defense and kind of get an idea of what everyone's assignments are, all right? So who's our middle linebacker? Ball's on this hash. This hash is the boundary. This is our middle linebacker, Kobe Dean, all right? This is our Sam linebacker, Zach. He's on the strong side of the formation. And this is our strong safety. So this is a nickel defense. One, two, three, four, five. Five nickels. And we have a, uh, I'm going to say a three, four front. No, I'm going to say a three, three front. One, two, three. All right. These are, line, these are down linemen. And then we have our three linebackers. One, two, three. But he's on the line, bro. Why? Because if you want to run it, shit, go ahead and try to run it. Because they have their tight end over here. So we're watching this series right here too. Let's run this real quick. We get the motion. It's obviously, oh, it looks like some kind of man coverage because he's running with him. So the tight, all right, so the tight is going inside. We're following him, 58. It gets picked up, right? This is a good play. So let's see what happens here. Okay, 97. He said, no, I'm not being moved. 97 right here. Wow, this dude destroyed the play. All right, look at his technique. I think he's playing, he's playing the one tech. I'll get to that when we get to the end zone view. So he's gonna be, he, he's taking on the center. Boom, sheds him. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Damn, bro. Defense has people playing above and beyond expectations, all right? So we got our center, right? Our center, if you wanna know what the defensive technique is, always start with the offensive line. Centers are zeros, uh, guards are twos, tackles are fours. He's in between a zero and a two, a center and a guard, so he's the one tech, all right? And all the technique is, it's just, it gives you certain advantages and disadvantages. So one of the advantages of lining up right here is that you can shoot this gap, right? One of the disadvantages is both these guys can double team you, right? Just keep it simple. Make, make football simple, y'all. So let's see here. We're gonna get the motion. So he's on, let's, we'll see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to homie. All right, he, ah, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Why, why are they making it a one-on-one? -on -one? Cause they want to pull this guard to bring more help over here. That's how this run is designed. So his job is to stand this guy up. And he did, but then all of a sudden, big Jalen Carter just, doomed. <laughs> he just took out the damn center. <laughs> what? Wow. Allowing his boy to shoot this guy. Goodness. Yo, Jalen Carter. A plan above, beyond, and what's expected, man. He literally took out, he, he pushed his guy and took out someone else's guy. Allowed his boy to come and clean it up. Now it's third and nine. Pit tape, don't lie in the comment section below, bro. Because this series is like phenomenal, bro. We get the, the, first, the first down stop, the second down stop. Now we get a, a sack for negative nine yards at a crucial time because now the offense can go out there and score, man. Right before half, right before they get the, the football back at halftime. That's why this is above and beyond, man, because the expectations, they're going beyond the expectations. This is an explosive defensive play. 
Let's check it out. All right. Then we got one, two, three, four, four on the line again. Oh, here, here's Dean dropping back in the cup. <laughs> As I'm okay, so just understand what Stafford just went through. He literally finished his drop. And as he finished his drop, everyone was covered, but then he got hit, man. Right? So once a quarterback drop, all right, it's just a choreograph, it's choreograph steps that are choreographed with the receivers, all right? That's all it is. So let's look at who, let's play them in the linebacker, right? Let's see here. Uh, so this is, just so I can make sure, this is, this is still a nickel defense. So we got one, two, three, four, five, all right? The defense, Vic chose to have four on the line. He wants four on the line. He wants a pass rush, all right? Because guess what? Jalen Carter is such a force. Uh, uh, Graham is such a force, right? Uh, Sweat is such a force. You got you got these people who demand double teams. So if you only protect in four, bro, that's not going to help out. You have to have more guys out there to protect. On a 39 situation, it's going to be tough for the quarterback. So we got four man pass rush and we have it's uh it's six man protection right now let's see what the running back does it's seven man protection this is a shot downfield okay seven man protection three downfield but look at the coverage one two three four five six seven we got seven in coverage and we got these linebackers that can just get so much depth i mean look at this the drop is done, right? Someone should be open. And they're starting to get open because, mind you, the linebackers are backpedaling. The receivers are sprinting. So for these guys to get equal depth like this, this is above and beyond expectations. <laughs> Especially for the Kobe Dean because he started off on the damn line. How you start off on the line and you're able to get that much depth, bruh, with the homie, and now look, <laughs> Stafford. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's check out this. Let's check out the sack. Here we go, right here, right here. What technique is this? This is a wide technique. Anything outside the tight end, anything outside the, the tackles. I just say it's a wide technique, man. And no, you didn't move the y'all to move the tight end, <laughs> and now he's changing. Oh my goodness. So now defensively, right, the guard should pick up Carter. The tackle should pick up 55. Graham. And he he thought he picked him up. <laughs> Until he falls on the ground. Doosh. Oh. Damn. What a pass rush. What a pass rush, man. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments section below. Like I said, this defense playing above and beyond expectations. Now, I did hear some news about Graham. Um, let me know who else is on the lineup. You know, maybe I'll do a, another video breaking that down. Uh, so please subscribe, hit tape, don't lie, get the video likes up, and I'll keep making this content because it's fun for me, man. All right, I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Deuces.